All right, hey everybody, it's MC Squared, and I am here with Alex Kinney, and we are going to play a game of Radlands today. This is a brand new two-player card game from Roxley Publishing, and this is super fun. We just played our first game to get the feel of it, so now we're going to go through a game and talk about it a bit. Uh, we have our demo copy up here, so if you think this looks cool, you'll be able to come down to Zulu's Board Game Cafe and play it with us. And get the boxes out of the way, and then we're gonna get started. Yeah, I mean, I had a really fun time with our. Uh, oh, whoops! There we go. I had a really fun time making sure we were able to play and understand the rules. So I'm excited for uh, the the next game. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is determine who goes first. We have our little water tokens here. The water tokens are the primary resource for this game, and these tokens are great. They've got two sides to them: one with water, one without. So I'm gonna flip this water coin. And it's going to tell us goes first. Comes up water. I'm the first player. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, why don't you flip another one? Boop. All right. So water's up. Let's so see. Means... It was water. There we go. So I'm the first player. And the objective of the game is to destroy the other person's camps. You'll see that each of us have three camps down here. Mine are a railgun, a garage, and a supply depot. And I've got a cannon, a reactor, and a victory totem. These have special powers, but we're going to be pulling from this deck of cards right here to get a whole lot of cool punks and stuff that we're going to use to help destroy the other person's stuff. Mm -hmm. And we actually each start with three cards in our hand, so let's get those. Yeah, we start off with uh, however many right, yes. cards we have. I want to say three all the time because I assume that games are going to be symmetrical. That's actually not the case. Not with this game. Nope. Uh, each of these... Uh, locations that we've got, we're using the starter set, but there's actually a big old deck of them, have an indicator on them that say how many cards you have uh, in your starting hand. So, yeah, so for example, my cannon has a little one card indicator, my reactor has a one card indicator, and my victory totem has a one card indicator, meaning I start off with three cards in hand. Uh, as opposed to me, where my railgun and my garage both have zero, but my supply depot has two. So I've only got two cards to start the game. Let's see. <laughs> Gosh. And some of these cards are... I've, I find them to be quite hilarious. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about them and go over them as they come up. Uh, so the first thing that happens at the start of the game is, essentially because there's no events going on yet, I'm going to draw a card... And I'm going to replenish my water. But for the very first turn for the first player, you only get one water. On every other turn of the game, it's going to be three. Okay. So you know what? I am going to, because I have my garage, and I love my garage so very much, here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend my one water mm -hmm. to activate my garage. Now that takes my Raiders card. Both players start the game with a Raiders card, and this is an event. Events, when you play them, are placed on a track over here. There is a number just above the yellow block of text with a little bomb icon. That tells you which of these you're going to start in. And every turn at the start of each round, the events progress, and once <clears throat> you start a turn with an event in the one space, they go off. The Raiders will damage one of the enemy's camps, and, uh... But, but the silly part about the raiders is that the enemy gets to choose which camp gets damaged. Yep. Each camp and essentially only has two hit points, so to damage a camp, a camp will be turned sideways, and then once it's damaged, you have to be able to repair it, but if you can't repair it and your opponent damages it again, it is destroyed. All right, so after that, uh, that is my one water. But in addition to using your water for stuff, cards also have a junk ability. And you can do any number of actions each turn. It's just based on how much water you have. So if you want to junk all of your cards to their junk power, you can. Well, I'm not going to junk all of them. I am going to start by junking my holdout here. And his junk ability up here in the top corner is the raider symbol. So it means my raiders just keep going faster. <laughs> They're going faster and faster, closer and closer to my camp. Yep. And then I'm going to junk this very expensive Zito Khan, <laughs> who is going to give me a punk. Mm -hmm. Now, 
the punk symbol here means you take a card from the top of the deck and you put it face down in front of one of your spaces. Punks are are people. Punks are people. Any of the cards that you're going to place out in these spaces under in front of your playmat are people, and they help defend your camps. Punks are generic people. They have one hit point, whereas most people have two, and they don't have any powers, but they stand in the way so that when people start shooting at your camp, they're there to die for you. Because, Good job, punks. <laughs> because they're still people. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, MC Squared, did you have any other abilities to use for your resources, or what is uh, what is going on? Okay. Nope. I think I've spent all that I'm gonna. So then I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn over to you, Alex. Fantastic. So first, what I'm gonna resolve is if I have any events. Currently, I have zero events. That makes me sad. So I'm going to go ahead and replenish. So because I'm not the first player, I actually get three water supply. So I get three water tokens. That's going to be the starting average for every other turn after the first. Uh, but during my replenish phase, I also draw a card. All right. So what to do, what to do. I think first what I'm going to do is I am going to... I am going to I'm going to uh, junk or discard one of my rescue teams so then I can injure uh injure MC squared's punk. <gasps> my poor punk. When punks are killed, they go back to the top of the deck. So you're always going to get to see whatever a card was. There will never be any mysteries in this game. <laughs> never ever. <laughs> there are no ever. mysteries in the wastes. <laughs> No mysteries ever. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a water token so I can play a repair bot. So when I play the repair bot, I am able to repair any ability. I think I had a misplay, but you know what? Whatever. This is the first time still. Uh, so uh, when he's got a special white uh, text ability, so when this card it's enters trait. play, it's a trait. trait. That's what it the, is. the white text at the very bottom of the card is a trait. Fantastic. Uh, but when this card enters play, I can uh, restore a card, which means turn it from its side to be upward, uh, upward facing. I do actually believe I misplayed a little bit, so I'm going to activate my cannon by spending one uh, water so then I can damage my cannon. So I'm going to turn it sideways, and then I'm going to damage MC Square's garage. Yeah. So much hate for the garage. So much hate. <sighs> but you know what? I still came up with a backup plan. I'm going to junk a bombardment so that I can restore my cannon. And then after that, I'm going to use my last and final water uh, water resource so that I can bring a water silo directly into my hand so that I can use it later to get another water resource. The water silo, very much like the raiders, is a card that exists on both players' sides that you both have the ability to use and will always come back to you for repeated use. Yeah, right. and then that's going to be it for my turn. Okay, so for me, the very first thing that happens is my raiders advance. Because they were already in the one spot due to my advancement of them, boom, they come over and they raid you. So you pick one of... Oh no, I'm going to pick for my... Uh, for my cannon to take some damage. All right, cannon is damaged. Now it is the start of my turn. I replenish all of my water, so now I have three water. So I get to take actual turns now. <laughs> then I draw a card for the turn. Okay. Now I have some interesting choices. See, I am actually going to spend one to play a scientist <laughs> the oh. scientist costs one water to play and he has an ability that for one water i discard the top three cards of the deck and then i can use the junk effect on any one of those three cards <laughs> Ooh, which is the top left corner of every card yep well that's fancy it is i am pretty happy with it truth be told Let's see. I've got that repair bot over there, and I'd rather you not what? do too much with it. So, hmm. But I love but... my little bot. He just hangs out. He's having fun. 
No, we'll we'll actually probably leave him alone this round. Thank you. Um, I'm actually gonna play this mutant for one more water. Uh, the mutant has an ability. It costs nothing. Costs no water, and he can damage or restore something. But then he damages himself. <laughs> so, All right. This is a very smart mutant. Of course. Uh, he's then, he's a real team player. Yep. Then we're gonna go ahead. Activate the garage again. <laughs> oh no. Go raiders, go! Uh, and this is why I have a little robot saving my raider <laughs> to fight against the raiders. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, and when a card enters play, you cannot use any of its abilities. Yes, the first turn a card comes into play, it is deemed not ready. Of course. For that, we flip over the water tokens, actually, and say, boom! Uh, anytime a card is damaged, it is not ready, with the exception of your camps. Your camps... As long as they're not destroyed, are always considered ready. That's why I was allowed to keep using the garage. Of course. All right. Then, are you all done with your turn, MT? Yep, that'll be me. You got it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take all of my... Well, I have no events, so I'm going to go ahead and replenish. So I'm going to have three water, and I'm going to draw a card. Mm. Well, this is interesting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to junk the water silo. Normally, when you junk a card, it goes to the junk pile. Water silo is special. It has its own little spot. But I get my own water token. So, instead of three for this turn, I have four to use. So far. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to junk another bombardment so that I can restore my cannon for free, essentially. Uh, then I am going to use my victory totem so that I can spend two water points to go ahead and uh, injure the scientist once again. No, my scientist. And then I believe I am going to junk another card. I'm going to junk a famine so that I can injure the scientist again. No, oh, my scientist is dead. And then, because I really don't like those raiders, <laughs> I'm going to use the cannon once more. <laughs> So I'm going to damage the cannon, and then I'm going to damage the garage. Okay, which Woo! destroys it. So, the first of my camps has been destroyed. My garage, my poor attack raiders are <laughs> no longer on a rampage. Is, oh my goodness. And then, because I want to use all of my abilities, I'm still going to spend another water to gain the water silo back. Alright. That's you? Yep, that's me. Well... Started my turn, the raiders moved forward because they were at least already out there. <laughs> they were hanging out. Oh, All my water comes back. Now you got the mutant. And I draw a card for the turn. Hmm. See? Well, this is fascinating, so we're gonna go ahead and pay one water to play this exterminator. Oh my. Uh, he has one power, and it's destroy all damaged enemies. Well, that's, uh, that's a fun thing. Enemies are the opponent's people. Yep. Let's see, next, because camp's being destroyed, seems to be what we're going to do. I'm going to activate my mutant, which costs zero. <laughs> and he's going to hurt himself, but he's also going to damage your victory totem. Oh no, my victory totem. It's damaged. <laughs> then I'm going to fire up my railgun. Oh no. And shoot it. Oh at, no! At your victory totem. My victory totem <laughs> is destroyed! Uh, my railgun, uh, its whole ability is to spend two water to do damage to any unprotected target. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, so much fun. Alright, and uh, is that your turn? Yeah, I think that's, that's what we got. Wonderful. So, I'm going to do all the events. I have no events. I'm gonna replenish. So I draw a card and I gain all of my resupply. Uh, or I get all of my water supply. So next turn, I get the raiders coming. I'm gonna do... For the funsies of it... I'm going to play the water silo, so that I can gain another extra water, because I just love having water. Uh, then I'm going to use the repair bot's ability, so that I can repair <laughs> my cannon once again. There it is. 
Uh, whoops. And then I am going to use the cannon's ability so that I can fire upon that mutant. <gasps> My poor mutant. Poor Why? Mutant. Well, what does he ever do? He, he was just... He, uh, I don't know. He was just in front of your supply. <laughs> He's in front of your supply depot. Mm -hmm. And then I will use my last and final extra water to play the vigilante, who has an ability of pay one water, injure one target <laughs> or one person. All right. And that will be my turn. Okay. Uh, so start of my turn. The raiders. They raid. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, raids here. I don't want my cannon destroyed, so I'm just gonna opt for the raiders to hurt my reactor. Alright. Then I get my three water back. And I draw a card for the turn. Of course. Let's see. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Obviously pass the <laughs> turn. <laughs> yes, clearly. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I don't much care for that vigilante. Oh. So... I'm going to shoot my railgun at him. Oh, no. Two. All right. And then my exterminator is going to destroy all damaged enemies. Oh, no. My damaged enemy <laughs> is destroyed. Poor vigilante. He should have been more vigilant. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ah, that's that a good point. How do you be a vigilante in a post-apocalyptic wasteland? Oh, Excuse me. Like, just... what? I don't know. The card's swinging a bat, so obviously you just gotta carry a big stick. So you're saying he's some sort of bat man? Oh my gosh. I'm, are you done with <laughs> no, your turn? I'm uh, done. You after, got it. I'm taking my turn. After that victory. Oh gosh. Oh, after that poor, sad victory. Uh, all right. Well, uh, what I am going to do... I will go ahead and... Uh, junk this gunner who is automatically going to restore one of my buildings. Of course. And then uh, stop repairing everything. <laughs> uh, dude, I got my little robot helping me out too. So what I will do, I can only use one ability per turn, or I can only use the card once per turn. So I'm going to use my cannon to fire onto that exterminator, damage him. Ow. And then I'm going to use oh, and which damages the cannon. But then I'm going to use the cannon, or I'm going to use my repair <laughs> bot to fix my cannon. <laughs> I just got a little tiny boy fixing the cannon right behind him. <laughs> Madness. But this time I ran out of water, so I can't retrieve my water silo. Aha! <laughs> All right, MC squared. It is your turn. Okay, so I don't have raiders this time. What will I do without the ability to raid constantly? I don't know, man. I'm I'm feeling sad without my water. Hmm. All right. So first, we're going to spend one water to play this cult leader. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, see, so we'll play him out. F oh, you're no, really we'll play far him in the back. Okay. Uh, then we'll play another one to play out this sniper. Oh my goodness, that is a uh, intensive. Uh, so what does the cult leader and the sniper do? All right. So the cult leader costs one, and he has an ability that costs zero. I can destroy one of my people and then do damage. And then do damage, which lets me damage oh my unprotected gosh. targets. Yeah, so like my reactor. Yep. Oh, that sounds like a problem. And the sniper can, just for two water, damage any card. Oh my so. goodness. <laughs> she that, is. that sounds terrifying. Yeah, they both seem kind of dangerous. Hopefully we get a chance to use them, uh, uh, considering that cannon and being there and all. Uh, however, I do have a uh, little trick up my sleeve. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you have the reactor, I suppose. <laughs> I can't just explode the reactor and all the players. Uh, people. But... Doing my work for me, I see. Yeah, okay, uh, you know, and then I'm just helping you out. I will use my last water to pick up my water silo. Oh my goodness. Yep. You got it. Alright, and that is me. Alright. Okay, turn back. And like normal, I still have zero events going on. You we... know, we're just hanging out with our cannon and our little <laughs> tiny robot boy just fixing the cannon up a whole bunch over and over and over again. 
we haven't actually seen that many event cards yet, really. Yeah, like not the Raiders, the only one. Unfortunately, yeah, there there are some really sweet events. Uh, in the last game we played, I was able to banish one of uh, MC Squared's, uh, <laughs> one of his poor sad people. Uh, all right, and then do 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 do. Ooh, ooh, I don't really have enough water for that. Uh, so I believe what I'm going to do. We have a lot of damaging capabilities. I am going to... Oh, what to do? You have a lot of people. I don't really like the fact you got a lot of people. So I'm gonna go for content. <laughs> I'm gonna use my reactor. So it has this fun little ability to destroy this card and all people. I'm going to destroy my reactor using the two water <laughs> to destroy my sad little robot boy, <laughs> but as well as the rest of MC Squared's uh, my poor, uh, my poor water boy. My cult, my entire cult. Uh, and then I'm going to junk this uh, Kalari Blaze so that I can be able to get a punk. And I am throwing that punk directly <laughs> in front of the cannon. So that he can uh, help arm the cannon. Unfortunately, the punk doesn't repair the cannon. But I'm going to aim it... No, uh, mm, no, actually. That sounds like a really bad plan. It wasn't even quite open. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use the water silo and uh, retrieve the water silo. All right. <laughs> so that makes it start of my turn. Yeah, of course. No events. Gonna replenish all the water. We're going to draw a card. You got it. Hmm. Let's see, let's pitch the water silo first of to course. get an extra water. Oh. What do I want to do here? I don't know. I just leave my cannon alone. It just wants to shoot things. Let's see, I think I'm going to play this scout who has <laughs> uh his ability is to activate the raiders. Oh, no. <laughs> if I ever get to see them again. <laughs> the raiders. Then we're going to pay two water to activate the supply depot, which lets me draw two cards and then discard one of them. All right. Hmm. Go ahead and discard that one. Discarding Napalm. Hmm. I'm not sure how... how much I like or don't like this card. You know what? I think I'm just gonna junk it. I'm gonna go ahead and junk this wounded soldier to injure your punk and when kill punk, it. When the punk dies, it goes right on top of the library. All the right. rest of the place. And then we'll use the water silo, or use the last water to pick up the water silo. Wonderful. Then return the bonus water. All right, and then I think it's my turn. It's me and my little cannon. Here we go. That's more than just a little cannon, but uh, da -da -da -da. let's see. I have very few actions. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a water to play the Muse. Uh, so the Muse is one water, but uh, I get a free ability on the next turn to just get water, because why not? Uh, and then I am going to doo -doo -doo, wait for using the... Hmm, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I going to activate my cannon BAM! so that I can injure the scout so that the scout may not be able to use its ability that works that way alright and then I'm gonna keep on holding on to my water silo I'm gonna use it one day alright <laughs> I believe in you okay and it's uh, your turn alright no I events. wasn't able to use all of my water Sometimes that happens. Uh, there are some options. If you don't have the water silo in hand, you can't, or you can always just spend two water to draw a card. That, that is, is an true. option that is always available. Uh, it's on. Uh, it's on one of the yep. 
Uh, actually, so we're gonna refresh. We're gonna draw a card. <laughs> Have we run into a stalemate, or what is going on? Uh, I. <laughs> you you'd like that, wouldn't you? So you first will use the water silo to yeah get some extra water. Get some extra water. All right. Then we're gonna spend two. You got it. To activate the supply depot again, in which we will draw two and discard one. All right. We are going to discard another mutant. Saw how well that worked last time. Yep. Then, All right. at two water remaining. So I think I am going to play. First, another scout. Oh my goodness. And then it's my turn to play Vigilante. <laughs> All right. You got it. All right, does that mean it is uh, my turn? I believe so. That is all yeah. I've got. I still have no events going on, because there's no events happening in this game at all. Uh, but what will I do instead? Ooh, I can. Well, I will activate the Muse's ability so that I can uh, go ahead and gain an extra water, just to have as much water as I possibly can. So much water this round. So much water. Uh, I am going to... I am going to junk Vanguard, so then I can activate my raiders! <gasps> Gasp! And then, uh, after activating my raiders... Shoot, what else do I do? I can play the water silo to get some more water. That's about it. Don't All forget, right, you can so, spend two water to draw a card. Uh, actually, Probably you know pretty relevant. I will go ahead and spend two water to draw a card. Let's yeah. See if that helps me out. Actually, it does. Uh, ooh, I'm going to spend a water once again, so then I can play a looter. Uh, who has an ability to pay two water and then do damage, and then if the damage hits a camp, I get to draw a card. Uh, you do you want him in that column, or do you want this looter? Yeah, yeah for gonna, protecting your remaining we're camp. Protect the loot, or we're gonna throw the looter directly in front of the muse, who is in front of the cannon. Um, and then I am going to play the water silo again, so I get additional water. So that I can spend two more water to draw another card. <laughs> and, ooh, I'm also... Man, this is just really top deck mode. Uh, I'm gonna Junk the Famine, which is an event, but I don't I don't want to use the event. Uh, but instead, I want to uh, injure the scout that's already injured. Pow. That does kill him. All right, and then that will be my turn. All right, so... Pick everything back up. I've got no events going on. Enemy raiders, you say? <laughs> Enemy raiders incoming! Draw a card for the turn. Mm -hmm. See, I think my turn's pretty straightforward. Oh, uh, my vigilante is going to baseball bat your looter. Alright, baseball bat the looter. My scout is going to activate my raiders. Oh no, the raiders are incoming. <laughs> They're so raiding. <laughs> And then my last water, it's my turn to have a muse. Oh my goodness. Got it. <laughs> All right. And then uh, that That's looks what like I got. it's about your turn, so I'll go yep. ahead and uh, take my turn. So actually, oh, I get to do an event. <sighs> Move the raiders up one from two to one. And then I'm going to replenish, see if I can do any sort of saving. Um, I believe. Oh, oops. This also went. Way. That's just damaged. Oops, there we go. Just dropping cards all over the place. Uh, wow, I have lots of ways to get water. It's not really using them. Uh, because that's not. 
You know what? I like having all the water. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to choose to injure. Uh, I'm gonna injure your. I'm gonna injure your vigilante by uh, discarding the pyromaniac. All right. Even though I like having all the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can't hold water from turn to turn, can you? You can't hold the extra water. No, no uh, water stays between turns. That is the point of the water silo card, uh, is to essentially turn one water from current turn into a follow-up card. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spend two waters so that I can draw a card. And are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's good for me. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to... I'm going to play an event called Interrogate, so it's a zero event, which means that it just happens right away. I get to draw four cards and then discard three of these cards. That's something. It's it's something. Um, wow, that's a lot of something. Uh, I'm going to discard the rabble rouser the scientist and it's going to be i'm also going to discard another event the straight or er, straight straight all yep. right uh i am going to use the muse oh this also comes in the discard i'm going to use the muse's water ability so that i can gain a no 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 yeah, I'm going to use the water ability to gain water, and then I'm going to use that said water to retrieve the water silo. Uh, ooh, actually, I'm going to discard the <laughs> sniper so that I can re <laughs> rebuild that cannon. Good plan. And then uh, that will be my turn. Okay. Man, Start of my turn. First, my raiders advance. That was uh, very good that you decided to use that <laughs> restore. Yep. Yes. Because right now, my scout is going to advance my raiders and damage it again. Ooh, my raiders right. come back. Of course. Okay. Hmm? Then I will activate the muse, gain an extra water. Oh, that's so nice to be able to do. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want resources? I no. know. So strange. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Uh, for the purposes of... Since we're showing this game off, I do want to play another event, even if it's not the best. I'm going to play this Radiation event. Ooh. It is a one event, so it's going to go off pretty quickly. It's just going to go off next turn, uh, and it's going to damage all people. Oh my goodness, which just turns them all sideways, and yeah, that radiation's not, not fun. Yep. But content. Yep. <clears throat> and then I will use the last water to pick up my water silo. You got it, just because we like having water. All right. Is that going to be all for your turn? That is all for me. You got it. My raiders are going to continue raiding, so you get to choose which of your camps you want to damage. Let's see. I'll go ahead and damage the railgun since it still has two protectors right now. What? Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Uh, and then I'm going to replenish so that I can draw some cards. Uh, I am going to... Run out of room today. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, junk the assassin so I can start raiding once again. <laughs> uh, gotta gotta drill you down somehow. The joy of raiding, of course. Uh, then I'm going to uh, spend two water to draw a card. Let's. See. Then I want to actually open you up a little bit, so I'm going to junk an uprising, which is another cool event. So I'm gonna damage the muse, my muse. and then I'm going to use the muse use my muse's ability to gain some water, and then get another card, and I will go ahead and 
I believe I'm gonna hang on to this, uh, hang on to these cards, including my water silo. All right. All right, go uh, right on ahead, MC. Okay, so the first thing that happens on my turn now is the radiation effect. It goes off, and boom, one damage to all people, which means the ones that are already damaged all die. Yep, my looter's dying. Your muse is dying. Your vigilante's dying. Your scout is damaged. That and... Yep. All right. And then I draw my card for the turn. Got it. And I get... All of my water. See, now that my scout is currently damaged, he's unable to use his ability. I can't send my raiders out into the world right now. Ah. So, what do I want to do? Go ahead and activate my supply depot for two of my water. You got it. Draw two cards. And discard one of them. Let's see. We'll discard this gunner. Ah, so you can repair something? Or restore? No, I'm discarding him oh, as, the, yeah. as the function of using the supply depot. That All right. is true, yes. Now, I, like I oh, yeah. junk the mimic to injure your muse. No, my muse has been damaged. I discard the water silo to get an extra water. Oh my goodness. And then I activate the railgun. Shoot your cannon. And my cannon is destroyed, thus MC Squared Kaboom. wins the game! Alright, hooray! So, uh, that's a game of Redlands, everybody. Took us about half an hour, just over that, but that was including with all the explanations and everything. So, it's a really fast game, it's great for two players, very balanced, and the replayability is nice, because we were using these six starter buildings, but there is an entire deck here of buildings, so... In a normal game, you'll start by dealing each player six of these and choosing three. So the diversity of play is going to change quite a bit because these can all do any number of different things. So yeah. check out Radlands. You can find it here at Zulu's Board Game Cafe. You check it out on our website. We do still have copies of the special Kickstarter edition that comes with these beautiful play mats that have the whole layout on them. And the normal game, if you prefer travel to player stuff, comes in a box about this size. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. I'm MC Squared. This is Alex Kinney. Oh, and have a good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye, and, everyone. Oh, and forget, like oh. and subscribe. Woo! Yeah! <laughs>